Okay, it's Sunday night, it's video blog time with myself David from David Barnacle and the Mystery Force and uh, tonight I'm going to talk about the recording aspect of the project which is of course uh, the EP called Human Sacrifice which is going to be released on December the 2nd in a big live show with support from We Are Catchers and the Bohos uh, in 24 Kitchen Street um, I'll give you some info on tickets either later in this or you know on, online on my Facebook or something. Um, but for now, I'm just going to get straight into it because I've done this loads and I keep running out of space on the camera. <laughs> so anyway, the recording aspect of it, it's a, it's an aspect which, you know, if you're doing it yourself, if you're in bands or you know you're solo artist or whatever, you really have to think about you know it's time and it's money so you know unless you're very lucky and you have friends or people in your band and the equipment where you can knock out recordings that you're perfectly happy with in which case you know well played is right to you but you know if you haven't got that then generally you have to pay people to um, mix, produce and master your records, you know, you have to find a studio or you have to find somebody who's got a setup that you're comfortable with and you have to choose very carefully the people that you want to work with and you know, for why, because I mean, and there's no art to knowing that, there's, there's no way of knowing who it is that you're more comfortable working with, I mean, for me, it's about, I've had these tunes years now, some of them years and years and they've been played in my head over and over and over and over to the point where I know what they sound like as the full package and I'm trying to get as close to that as I possibly can on the record so you know I want to be able to work with someone who is okay with um, you know me having that clarity and that direction for the tunes I'm happy to say in this case that's been fine um, I chose to work and record with Matt Freeman who's in a band called Pure Joy and my other mate Lee Pennington who's also in the band put me on to him because Matt had made their album and I thought you know he's my age he's into music he's on he's on this, in a music scene uh, whatever that means I don't know but you know there's a bit of a kinship there um, something in common and and you know it wasn't ridiculously expensive I didn't have all kinds of money for this project as some of you might know crowdfunded for it and I got sponsorship that's for another video blog but I'll just mention the sponsors um, Barnett's Health Foods on St John's Road and Capuccia ran by Sarah McBride on Lord Street in town uh, both about in some way progressing and developing and looking after the self you know the journey of the self which is right up my street um, so, yeah, so anyway, the, the help that I had off them has, has, has been, you know, and the crowdfunders is, is what's given me the budget to, to do some recording. Um, so going with Matt um, has been a good choice. I did get that, what I thought I'd get, you know, a good working relationship, a good musical ear. Um, open to direction from myself but also throwing in ideas when necessary which I, you know everyone needs that I need I need someone to say what about this you need to well, try this like this um, so I had a, a really good mix a really good balance there with Matt um, I, I love the recording process I love the fact that when I'm involved in it it's pressure and it's stress and when you've done a long session you feel so zapped mentally but I, I love that feeling of being mentally zapped from doing something that you really love and you, you're moving towards something that you, you you know is part of you and you know you're creating you know you're putting your tunes on record in, in this case you know my first one so I, I love I love the pressure and the stress and the feeling of being overworked when it's for something that I really want to do Um. I just also wanted to mention as well, you know, the preparation side of things. Um, bands have to be, as the saying goes, you know, rehearsed into the ground. The tunes have to be rehearsed into the ground before you get into the studio because bad takes just makes for a bad record, makes for more work for the engineers to do. 
you know, if the takes aren't there. So that's why they say, you know, you've got to have your tunes absolutely practiced, you know, as practiced as they're going to be. In my case, you know, this band isn't, hasn't been around for a long time, you know, it's it's people getting involved in the prog project and, and helping out. And, you know, I'd love it to be a full-time band, but, you know, people have lives and people have other things going on. In my case, I managed to get all of fantastic boss musicians who just come in and done boss takes, you know, with minimal <laughs> minimal effort and fuss. Then being, you know, Brian Dorr, the bass player, and Dominic Allen, the, the drummer from the T-Street band. Um, Dom's been with me for a long time, and so, as always said, you know, if you want a favour, drums-wise, give me a shout. So I've done that in this case, and what a brilliant, you know, choice it was, um, getting Dom and Brian in. Just makes it so much easier for all the other musicians like myself and, and Andy doing a synth to do our parts over it and makes it so much easier for the engineers to do theirs as well. So, you know, but if you haven't got that, you have got to be prepared because it's it's money that you're spending, it's time that you're spending and all for what? A crap record if you're not prepared or if you haven't got the boss players. So that... That has to be uh, really looked at, you know, if someone is looking at or listening to this video blog and, and has not recorded before. I'm guessing a lot of people who have recorded, you know, might have already been there. But anyway, I think I've said enough on that. I wanted, I was determined to keep this video blog shorter than the last one. I don't choose them, uh, you know, I don't, I don't write them out. I don't, I just think of something from the last few days or the last few weeks that I've thought, oh, that would be a good idea, and I just go with it. So that's why, you know, they can they can run on a bit. But I think I'll, I prefer to speak, you know, from the heart than from you know a piece of paper. So I'll leave you with that. I'll give you loads more info in the coming couple of weeks, few weeks, very soon now the gig, and um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. All right, see you later. <laughs>